Hello children. Today we will learn about divisibility test. If the number is divisible by the given numbers or not. First divisibility by 2. If the number is even, that is it ends with 2, 4, 6, 8, 0. We say that the given number is divisible by 2. So any even number that is divisible by 2. Example 26, it ends with 6. And 26 is divisible by 2. So any even number is divisible by 2. Now divisibility by 3. If the sum of the digits of the number is divisible by 3, we say that the given number is divisible by 3. Now we will look at one example. The number we are getting here is 384. Now we will add the digits, sum of the digits. 3 plus 8 plus 4. What did you get after that? After doing this addition, you got the total is 15. So is 15 divisible by 3? Yes, 15 is divisible by 3. So we can say 384 also divisible by 3. So sum of the digits, if it is divisible by 3, the number is also divisible by 3. Okay children, now divisibility by 4. If the number formed by the last two digits of the given number is divisible by 4, we can say that the given number is divisible by 4. And one more thing is children, if at the end two zeros are there, then also it is divisible by 4. Now we will see last two digits, it is 64. Is 64 divisible by 4? Yes. 64 is divisible by 4. So we can say 164 also divisible by 4. This is the divisibility by 4. Now divisibility by 5. Divisibility by 5 is very easy. If the number ends with 5 or 0, we say that that given number is divisible by 5. Example 525. The number ends with 5. So, 525 is divisible by 5. Another example we will see. The number is 330. It's a, it ends with 0. So, that also divisible by 5. Now, we will see the divisibility of 6. The divisibility by 6. Now, if the number is divisible by both 2 and 3, we can say that the number given number is divisible by 6. Now we will see one example. The number it is given 408. Is 408 divisible by 2? Yes, 408 is divisible by 2 because it is an even number. Correct. So 408 is divisible by 2. Is 408 divisible by 3? We will add the digits 4 plus 0 plus 8. We will get 12. 12 is divisible by 3. So, 408 also divisible by 3. So, here you have seen the 408 is divisible by both 2 and 3. Hence, 408 is divisible by 6. Now, children, divisibility by 7. For 7, we have some different problems. Take the last digits of the number. Double and subtract it from the rest of the digits. If the difference is divisible by 7, then the whole number is divisible by 7. It is little different. So, we will see one example. 672. What is the last digit? Last digit is 2. So, we have to double it. Double the last digit. So, after doubling, we got 2 plus 2, 4 plus now, rest of the number is what? Rest of the number is 67. So, from 67, we will subtract 4. What we will get? 63. Is 63 divisible by 7? Yes, 63 is divisible by 7. So, you can say 672 is divisible by 7. So, children, this is how you can do the divisibility by 7. Take the last digit. Double it, subtract from the rest of the digit. If the after subtraction number is divisible by 7, then the full number is divisible by 7. Repeat the process for larger number. If we will get one large number, suppose 3934. 3934. Last digit, 4. 4 plus 4, you got 8. So from 393, you will subtract 8. 
what you will get after doing the subtraction you will get 385 so last digit here 385 last digit 5 again you will double the last digit 5 plus 5 10 rest of the digit 38 38 minus 10 is 28 28 is 27 divisible by 7 yes 28 is divisible by 7 so we can see that the number 3934 is divisible by 7. See children, by using this test, you can see any number which is divisible by other numbers. Divisibility by 8. If the number formed by the last 3 digits of the given number is divisible by 8, we say that the given number is divisible by 8. Here one more thing. If and three zeros are there then also it is divisible by eight now example 53888 last three digit 888 is 888 divisible by eight yes 888 is divisible by eight so you can say 53888 is divisible by eight so now divisibility by nine if the sum of the digits of the number is divisible by 9. We say that that the given number is divisible by 9. We will see one example. Suppose 7,29,639. Is this number divisible by 9? What we will do? We will add the digits. How? 7 plus 2 plus 9 plus 6 plus 3 plus 9. If you add all the digits, you will get the sum 36. Is 36 divisible by 9? Yes, 36 is divisible by 9. So you can say 7,29,639 is divisible by 9. Again, that sum of the digits, by if, if that number is divisible by 9, full number is divisible by 9. Divisibility by 10. If the number ends with a 0, we say that the given number is divisible by 10. Any number ends with 0. 8620 ends with 0. So you can say yes, it is divisible by 10. So any number ends with 0, it is divisible by 10. Now divisibility by 11. This is again some different thing you will get. A number is divisible by 11. If the difference of the sums of the alternate digits is 0 or a multiple of 11 we can say that the number is divisible by 11 example 3729 alternate digits we have to add here you will add 7 and 9 and you will add 3 plus 2 even numbers and odd numbers you will odd positions and even positions you will add 7 plus 9, first position, third position you add, you got 16. Now, second position and fourth position, 3 plus 2, you got 5, you got 5. So, to, from 16, if you subtract 5, from 16, if you subtract 5, the difference between the sum. So, from 16, you subtract 5, you got 11. So, you when you get 11, so you can say that 3729 is divisible by 11 it is divisible by 11 okay children now another example 4576 4576 here odd positions and even positions we will add 4 plus 7 you got in even position 4 plus 7 is 11 in odd positions you got 5 plus 6 5 plus 6 is 11. Again, if you do the subtraction, 11 minus 11, you will get 0. So, if the difference is 0, then also it is divisible by 11. So, 4,576 is divisible by 11. Now, divisibility by 12. How we will do that? This is very easy. A number is divisible by 12 if it is divisible by both 3 and 4. 3 4 is 12. So if the number is divisible by both 3 and 4, you can say yes, that number is divisible by 12. Now, 4,79,128. First, we will see is it divisible by 3 or is it divisible by 4? First, divisibility by 3. We will add the digits. 
4 plus 7 plus 9 plus 6 plus 2 plus 8. When you will add the digit, you will get the sum 36. Is 36 divisible by 3? Yes, 36 is divisible by 3. So, 4,79,628 is divisible by 3. So, when the sum is divisible by 3, the number is divisible by 3. Now, we have to see if the number is divisible by 4. The last two digits are 28. Is 28 divisible by 4? Yes, 28 is divisible by 4. So, we can say 4,79,628 is divisible by 4. So, children, you have seen the number is divisible by both 3 and 4, right? It is divisible by 3 and it is divisible by 4. Hence, we can say 4,79,628 is divisible by 12. So, divisibility by 12, if you have understood, now we will go to divisibility by 15. A number is divisible by 15 if it is divisible by both 3 and 5. 3 fives are 15. So if number is divisible by 3 and 5, then we can say that number is divisible by 15. So example is, what is the example? 5,60,955. 5,60,955. We will add the digits to see it is divisible by 3 or not. 5 plus 6 plus 0 plus 9 plus 5 plus 5. So total what you got as a sum when you will add the number, you will get the sum 30. Is 30 divisible by 3? Yes, 30 is divisible by 3. So, you can say 5,60,955 is divisible by 3. Now, we have to see, is it divisible by 5 or not? So, children, here at the end, the last digit is 5. If the number ends with 5, that number is divisible by 5. So, you can say... 5,60,955 is divisible by 5. So, here the last calculation, it is divisible by 15 because it is divisible by both 3 and 5. So, children, this is how you can do the divisibility test. Thank you.